So it's paper pumpkin time. I This is the April kit, delicate wings. And what I love about paper pumpkin are two things. I like to bring it, like if I'm going to sit with some at the hospital, my mom's in a nursing home, I can sit and assemble cards, bring them on vacation. Grandkids come, want something to do, you've got a box. But the other thing about paper pumpkin is it can be a good idea starter. So I love to just talk about what comes to mind, how we kind of can decide to create with something. So I don't use up all the box. This is just for my initial, kind of what spoke to me. Look at all these things I have left in here. I mean, this is actually uh, just gorgeous. I'm going to be taking a bunch of the parts here. So the base cards are these three. A really cute stamp set. Um, and I guess it's in the other room, but you'll see some of the stamps that I'll be using on here. And um, it comes with basic gray. I keep these for later when I need them. So I'm using my regular gray pad. And there are beautiful cards that come with it. So for example, set this aside. Look how gorgeous this is, just the way it is here. So this part, this is a base card. And then this will go on. And this is awesome because you'll... Pop this out. I have been out in the uh, yard working. So I guess I can kind of tell with my fingers there. Now, how cool is this? So I can pop that up. So I can pop it up as much as I want. And look what a stunning card that is. Now, when I first saw this, I thought, though, what I would want to do is make this stand out more. And I don't want to cover all of that. So here's what I did. I'm going to do... On my blog, and there will be a link below, are all the measurements. So I'm not doing the measurements. These are just kind of some teaser quick ideas. So I'm making a Z-fold card where you fold the card in half. So it's been scored. And then in half again. So this is two and one eighth, and that's four and a quarter. And then I took, these are the envelopes, which would be just beautiful to send your cards in this if I want to stretch my kit and make more things. This is what I'm going to get out of it. And I'm going to attach this. Yeah, so you can see it's the back of the envelope flat right there. Whoops. Oh, and I did this wrong. I'm going to make a pop-up card or uh, an easel card. I guess it's kind of a pop-up card. But you see, how, this is the new so what I've added to this is just some different cardstock. So this is the beige, which is just really lovely with this. And that's the color of this. So when I cut this off, I did, I cut this apart then to use on one of the layers coming up. So all these bits and pieces are just fun to work with. So we're going to crease that well. And then my pop-up, I will use this. So this comes with the set. I love this, these words surrounding you with love is perfect and in the set you also get your dimensionals and of course i was assuming i have some out here so i still have parts of this kit left in the other room but you know the drill so you know this is paper pumpkin is a monthly kit that you can subscribe to you can just get one month you can get three months you can go on going you can skip a month if you don't want what's in it but it's a fun just taste of creativity it's perfect even if you have know someone who's away at college or in a new apartment, but they don't have much room. It's just, but you know they love to craft. It's that kind of a thing where this little subscription, and at the end you just have a little stamp set you can keep that you use up the other things. So you can see where I'm going with this. I want this to be stunning like this. So I even thought about that, but I thought, no, I like this on the back. So now we're going to attach this. I'm not adding any gems to what I'm doing either. Uh, if I do before I finish them, they'll be on the pictures on the blog. But this is playing. I haven't actually made these cards. I've cut out pieces and kind of designed them and thought this is what I'd like to do. And of course, I could make, I believe it's three of these in the kit, or I could make them all different. And then I'm going to put this down and I'm going to put this right in the center. So this is going to fold flat and it's going to pop up. I'm always here for you, surrounding you with love. I think that is gorgeous. Just as simple. I think what I like about this kit is very rich with the gold. It's also, this is just elegant 
to me, just a very elegant card. So that's card number one, and I think I would make three of those. Then I looked at these two. Now, these are beautiful cards, though. This one's already folded. Um, and the back is decorated, too. But if I didn't want to do that, so I cut one in half to make cards out of here. So this is what I took here. This is my card. And because this paper is so gorgeous, I thought I really wanted to just highlight the paper on this. So I took an extra little gold from my stash. And any dies would work for this. I'm using these dies, but you can think of uh, all, all kinds of different shapes. So do you see how that's just layered? And then I'm going to, so this is my thought. I'm going to put this on top. And I just think this really shows the paper well. So this one I'm using the, is it going gray, the darker gray? cardstock. I'm going to put, whoops, I didn't get that on very good. Let's try that again. Okay. You know, I often stand if I'm having trouble seeing where something is centered, but when I'm here, I don't. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to pop this one up. See, these could be popped up or left, but I think this one will be kind of fun to pop up. I'm going to put plenty on here to hold it up. And then we'll, so before I even start designing, I just have my big table and I spread everything out that came in the kit so I can look at everything. So I think that's a really helpful idea right there. Okay, so I'm going to put that on and then I'm going to put this one right across there. And then I just kind of think about what speaks to me out of it. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to pop this one up. Now, I think a few gold embellishments would be really pretty on this, but I didn't even want to go that far, so I could scatter a few, but I love the simplicity of this. I think that is another just absolutely gorgeous card. Now, since we're on that, what I did with one of the others, so I did the same with the other paper here. I thought, well, let's, so I took half of, half of a sheet there, and you can see what I did. I cut part off, and then I cut out some of the butterflies. So this is all from half of a card, so I could make a bunch more of these too. And I thought with this, now I could cut this down and add a little gold layer. Anytime you want to step up a card, just adding a layer of anything. So let's even look at this. If I wanted to step this up and use this, if I were going to save it for the other, see it, anything like that. But I'm doing this just the simplest way. So after cutting that off, I'm going to put this over on the side. And then, so here's my thought process. I thought I would like to, I guess that could go on either. Oh, I could, this actually goes with this. It matches that, but that isn't going to, oh, it, it actually will work. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to do that. I am going to slip this where it's going to come right to the edge. Perfect. And then I'm going to pop this up. Let's see. Is this one going to work to kind of be popped? Yeah, I do like that. So then I want the skinny. Or I would cut these. And if I don't see any skinny ones, I will just cut some. I'll just... Cut some little ones here. Let me see what this will do. And then I think the other ones, and I'm going to put this right over that. So there's my little accent. And then these, I'm going to put little, yeah, this would be perfect to have just the little ones. But, you know, I don't, my YouTube setup here is in my living room. <laughs> it's not. The family room. Okay, so if I have a large one, I'm going to put one here. And then I'm going to put a little bitty one. Down here, and I have it sticking out a little bit. Cut that. So you can see, these, these are just playing with ideas. But again, how cute is this? And we're just kind of stretching the paper and using um, the same idea there. Okay, let's see, moving on, let's try 
Uh, this one I was just going to leave really simple because I thought this was really pretty. Okay, here you're going to see this is the rest of the envelope, the front of the envelope. So I'm going to, this comes in the packet. I added the words. I love this too, sending loving thoughts your way. It's my other favorite word in here. And then it's got butterflies and other fun little things. I think this is pretty just as is. I don't even think this would need anything else. So if you want lots of mileage, you can just do that. And then otherwise I thought I would add some of these little ones that kind of go with the same color. So let me see, do I have some more here? I've got to get my box back up and find, oh, here they are. It's funny how you can have loose stuff in it because I would want five butterflies because usually we talk about odd ones. So, although, you know, this stands alone too. And what I think how this stands alone is I see one, two, three, with this being the third um, accent. But for these, I think I'm going to just add. So now I want, I love using little glue pens, a uh, little glue thing. So over in the back porch stampers, people post what they make out of these. So if you get paper pumpkin, we'd love to see what you make. And it's all just kind of fun to I'm gonna do this too. Move those ends up a little. And then I want one more. So I think I would do this one. So there's such pretty colors with the Lost Lagoon, Moody Mob, and, and if I want this really tight in the middle, I always take my little glue dots and I squeeze them. I just pinch it and then it will be narrower. Okay, there. Okay, so here's my next little one. Um, let's see what we're going to go to next. Let's try this one. So then I'm looking at these and I thought, okay, see, I see two and we like doing things with three. So I'm going to consider this my third thing. So this is what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking, okay, if this is two and three, I, and you see all these fun pieces, I am thinking probably something like this. So from there, I decided I would put it on a narrow. I haven't made this, but I'm hoping this will work. Oh, I like that. Okay, this is going to work. So this again is just, I could get two of these. This is just half of one of the uh, base cards. Let me see, I just cut off a piece there. And then I'm going to attach this to the gray piece that I added. I think it's interesting that gray and this new beige really look well together, look good together. I think, um, I don't know if I would have typically put them together. So that's what's fun too, about when you get something like this and you see, oh, what they put together. So now I'm just putting it on a beige card. I like things that aren't too fussy. I'm a little bit more of a plain stamper that way, but I like, um, but then I'm thinking, okay, this, this would work. Oh, it's very simple. And then I'd probably put some gems like right here. So I'm going to just quickly put these together. These could be popped up, but I'm going to leave them like this. I hope as you're watching me, you're thinking of, oh, but now she could do this. She could do that. Because that's really where ideas come from. You start thinking, oh, I like that. I could change this. And that's kind of what my videos about Paper Pumpkin are like. Use this as kind of a little jumping Kickstart your own creativity and then show us what you do. So you do all kinds of things over in the back porch snapper. Okay, I like that. And then I would add some gems here. So you'll see that on the blog. All of this will be finished if I've added some gems. Now the next one. Oh, okay. This is this is interesting. I was going to show a couple of quick little ideas here. We have all of these little butterflies, just a whole bunch of them. You know, I used a few. Let me move all this. So my idea was to do something like this, like a, like a square, to arrange these like you would arrange little squares, which I really think is pretty. I also think this could be nice. So see how we could take any of these and make some cool little things. So I did this, and this reminded me I was just, we were doing a, 
all out, we did a whole class on one inch squares in the All Good Cards Club and we had so much fun. And this just reminded me of one of the designs, but I thought I wanted a little tiny word there because now I'm using butterflies instead of squares. And I didn't want to bring another stamp set. So I'm using this one, surrounding you with love, but you can see I only want that love on the end. So all I need to do is ink up just that little love at the end. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp it and we're going to hope it's just love. And there's my love. So that's just one way where you can use parts of something. I could also put, if I wanted like bigger, like sending this, I could put post-it notes or masking tape over this, stamp it, then take off my masking tape. Somehow you just want to clear it. But because love was right on the end, I thought that made an easy little thing. Now I wanted to pop these up and I do not see my little pop-ups. So you know what else I can do though? If I don't have little pop-ups, I can use, I'm just going to scrunch, I will really scrunch these up and pop them. Okay. So we make do with whatever we have. Otherwise it's going to say, I'll do it off camera. You can see it. I don't know, but as long as we're playing and I'm going to leave it pretty puffy and I'm just going to attach it real lightly there. Now it might get a little squished in the mail, but I still don't think it'll get like totally squished. So it'll still maintain a little of the poof. So I can make it a little and then I'm going to put one there. And then, and then I was kind of stuck. I didn't know what to do with after this. So I just cut some paper and we'll just see what happens. Okay. Okay. So I think that is just a fun little square. Now I might decide, okay, I'm not happy with this. So I'm going to finish it and you'll see the finished card. Tell you what I'm not happy about. I would like this either in the center or down here in the corner, I think would be really cute. So I could cut this down and put it, that's what I might do. Put the love down here in the center because it's just this little thing. And then I just brought other colors that I could layer it on. So you will see the finished card of that just by clicking over to my blog. Uh, and then, let's see, we have one. Oh, no, we have two more. Oh, oh, I know what I was going to do with that. I'll show you what I, oh, no, I guess this is all part of the last one. <laughs> These were parts of the kit. And they, on the kit, had you do this and then put a bunch of these butterflies on it going up and down, which is really a pretty idea. But of course, when I saw this, I immediately saw a pocket card. And I make lots and lots of pocket cards. So I wanted to take, hmm, okay, I'm, I'm going to leave it like this. I would probably cut this down and put it on another color. I'm going to leave it like this, and I'm going to put my adhesive, and I would probably run other adhesive, like my uh, tear and tape or something, okay? But do you see I have a pocket now? And I just think this is really fun. So now I can cut this off because this could be this could be my base card because my actual card is going to come in right here. This is going to be my card. This is a four by eight scored at four inches. So I'm going to cut this off afterwards because this is the card you'll take off. So what I wanted to do for this card is here I'm using, this is Pretty Peacock. I tried Lost Lagoon, but Pretty Peacock using darker colors actually is easier on this. And they kind of go together. So kind of fit the whole theme. So I'm going to take one of the stamps in here, the butterfly. Hmm. Oh, here it is. I'm gonna say, <laughs> how cluttery can a small space get? So here I have my pretty peacock. And if I don't have a blender pen, this isn't even going to work. So let me see if I need to run, take a speedy break. And here it is. So the, all the words on these cards are in the little stamp set. So it's a great way to just build your little stamp collection. And here, I just want to make sure this is well inked. This is my pretty peacock. And then I'm going to take a blender pen. This is just one of my favorite things to do with a blender pen. And do you see how it's going to smooth out the color? So it pulls color from the ink pad. So if you look at that half of it, 
has a kind of soft watery look and half of it is just the outlines. We're gonna do this whole thing. But I think this is such a fun way. It just experiment with different colors. Uh, I find bolder and darker colors work best. And then to clean this, all I will do is do this. Okay, the color's off. And now I can put this on any color again so that I can go back into storage. Okay, and then we're going to put this on. And we'll put this on the front. And I'll cut off the side. There. And this is going to be my little pocket card. And I just think that's really cute because it's going to pull out like this. And then I will write on the inside there. So hopefully you enjoyed. I'd love to know what's your favorite. And by the way, it's Karen from <laughs> Snappy on the Back Porch. I think I forgot to say that. But um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this video, subscribe so you see other things. So this is just our weekly little, I just like to encourage you to sit down and think like a child and just have fun. Things don't need to turn out. This is, you have all this to play with. And I still have all these extra things. And these are just the things that came top of mind to me. And I'm just like to encourage you to play around with them too. So thanks for watching.